Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys for the month of October 2021. So I already got a couple feelings when I was meditating. Um, the color orange came up very heavily. They showed me a pumpkin, but it was more about healing your sacral chakra and overcoming that old hurt. Um, feeling more safe in your own skin. Maybe you have a project that you're working on, you'll feel more safe in that project. So all the work that you've been putting in in September, you're gonna start to see results. It might not be huge results, but you're gonna start feeling more safe in your ideas and following your intuition. Whatever you're working on, it's gonna work out. It's You're gonna you're going to see how hard work pays off in October. And it's Halloween. That's my favorite holiday. <laughs> well, I like Christmas too, but okay. Halloween is my favorite. I have this little skeleton guy, and he's covering his eyes. And that reminds me to look within. They're not going to find the answers on the internet because those answers have already been given to someone else. If you're looking for something new and unique, you must look within. Close your eyes and feel the ideas within you. Um, maybe you need to write them down. You don't have to have your eyes closed the whole time, but look within. Okay, and the skeleton is you're not what's on the outside, you are what's on the inside. So good reminder. That's why I always keep that guy where I can see him. So they're telling me, let's do a little bit of a ruin reading. Oops. So I'm going to mix them up. Okay. So out came... I'm still learning the ruins, but I'll get there. Ewas? Um, if I say that wrong, please help me. This one stands for movement, progress. So that's going to be the theme of October. You're going to move forward in believing in yourself, trusting in your instincts. That's what they're saying here. All right, that was kind of short lived. <laughs> So next, they want me to grab these cards. This is the Archangel Power Tarot deck by Doreen Virtue. This was, I think, the third or fourth deck that I ever got. I I like this deck because it has a little saying on the on the bottom, and I really like the colors. All right, so we have the Knight of Gabriel. It says confident, enthusiastic, courageous, charismatic. And notice it's orange. Remember I was saying that's the theme. Time to take action. Great passion for a cause. Instinctively knowing just what to do. So that's what I was saying. That's totally the energy for October. In, uh, following your intuition, instinctively knowing just what to do, taking action, and the passion that comes into this, it definitely comes from the sacral chakra and feeling safe in it um, also, feeling safe in your beliefs. And as you can see, this horse here, the Iwas, I think it was, the ruin I just pulled, it also stands for movement, a horse, okay? So October can be your vehicle. You can use the energy of the month to move forward. If you decide to just sit down on the path and not make a move, then you're not going to be seeing the results. But this is saying, get on your horse. You are protected, okay? Let's grab one more here. 
Another horse. This is crazy. Knight of Ariel. Trustworthy, understanding, devoted, funny. There is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. Being watched over by someone kind. So ask for the signs. What should I do? Give me the opportunities in my life. Make a very detailed plan. So as we can see, we're sitting here on this horse, watching our guide planting the seeds. So she's working behind the scenes. She is doing the things when we ask, she will help us grow our garden and we can just supervise it. But we must also take action. And that's what the horse is saying, walking. The horse walks up and down the path and sees how the things are turning out. And if they see something that needs a little bit of fixing, they, you know, ask my guide, hey, can you uh, prune this a little bit? Help me to prune that, make it look a little bit better. Thanks. And it's crazy because I have never noticed this before, but what she is doing is not, it's not flowers, it's coins. There's a chest right here and she's planting the coins in the ground. So very earthy energy, a very pentacle type energy. Um, your guide is your guide is helping you manifest this financial freedom that you are hoping for. So very, very cool. I like that we've had this the cards just not so much telling us, but validating what I already felt in my meditation. That's very nice. So thank you guides. So this is the Awake Inner Wisdom cards. And I like these because they just get straight to the point, it seems like. And their pictures are very in interesting. So let's see. The, they have a message in here for us. Let's see what comes out here. Please help me to understand which card you want me to take. All right, I'm still getting them mixed up. Okay, I keep they keep giving me a whole bunch of cards. Maybe I should be reading that one. All right, blaze a trail, more movement. All right, this snail is taking a really long time to get up that branch, but he can see the end result. And he has a house on his back. If you know what these flags are, I am not 100% sure that this is what they mean. But I'm, I have the understanding that the wind blows them and the little strips of fabric uh, fray and fly off. And um, wishes or dreams are fulfilled. Uh, maybe it's like blessings fly by your house or um, you, you kind of get what I'm saying. So the blessings are you're, you're taking slow and steady progress. You can see the end of the road. You are confident. You have your house on your back. Nothing can sway you to get to this goal. And to me, this is showing that there are limitless opportunities and blessings coming your way because you are taking this slow and steady approach. All right. All right, they want me to do one more card and they left it on the table, thank you. Oh, dream. Okay, so this is upside down for you guys. So that means it's bl uh, blocked. Just fell out of my hands. It means that you're blocked. So I'm seeing this um, as I look at the camera. This to me looks like a crown. Uh, so crown goes on your head and dreaming has to do with your head and as we go this way it's a moon okay and there's a little little house on there with the uh, a little house in a forest with some stars okay so you create your world okay in your mind in the perception of your uh, in the perception of how you feel your life is going so it's saying, wear this crown, you know, you got this. You are the queen of your own life. You are the king of your own life. And 
unblock yourself and recognize that you just need to focus on a little bit more of uh, shadow work focus on uh, when you feel triggered or you feel negative question what that is from how can you heal from that uh, the stars to me when I look up at the sky they are symbolizing uh, they're just balls of energy and we all are balls of energy so all these this could be people um, looking in at us, we feel safe because we have done the work. We feel safe in ourselves because we have done the work. Because we put the crown on our head and we believe in ourselves. So, uh, dream. Dream is not, dream is not pretend. Dreaming is the foundation of creation. Dreaming, if you can dream it, you can do it. Um, you guys all know what that movie is from, but it is true. They in the movie they made it a joke, but it is not. It is a hundred percent true. I have always wanted to do readings for people, and the only thing keeping me was being afraid. Okay, I put this crown on at the end of September, and I really, really hope that by October or the end of October, I have a few people. I mean, there's what maybe twenty little dots here. 20 more subscribers than I have today um, watching me and I, I, I pray and I hope that you guys are getting answers and you guys are getting guidance because that is my purpose is to help you guys. So they want me to move on but not before they show me that the back of the cards have this moth on it. Okay, so moths come out at night and they're attracted to the light. So take that as it resonates. These look like clouds, and they want me to say that the cloud will soon be passing, okay? So, if you have some kind of uncertainty, or you are worried that it's not going to work, it will, okay? So, just keep going. Change one little thing um, at a time. Question one little thing at a time and work on it. You don't have to complete it all at once, all right? That's not what they're asking you to do. What they're asking you to do is just try, put forth the effort. All right, so they will put those in my lap. So I'm gonna go with it. They're telling me that this is going to be a little bit of a long reading, but they're all going to come together and you're going to see the energy for October. All right, sorry, I had a little bit of uh, trouble with my camera. I had to fix it. Here are the cards. All right, so it was Eight of Earth, King of Water, Seven of Water, and Three of Fire. So what I see in these cards, all right, is some emotion it's going to be a little bit emotional but it's going to be surrounded by be, being grounded the earth and taking action which is the fire okay so sh an, again another vessel so maybe you'll be traveling for work um another vessel to travel i mean to say so maybe you'll be traveling for work Whatever there is, there's a lot of movement. So it could be taking action, like actually making a video every day, um, drawing something every day, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, do one little thing every day. And you see, this is the three. So it's, it's just starting out. You are, maybe you understand what you want and now you're starting to walk towards it. But more will be revealed. You will not have all the answers. Okay, so this Eight of Earth is, uh, for whatever reason, I get like um, playing your own instrument, playing your own violin, trusting in your own music. Um, and all these uh, pentacle objects around it, um, kind of with the with the tree growing out of it. So play your own tune. Okay, here's a guide standing here. Go by your own tune and you will start to grow and you will see the rewards. You will reap the rewards. Is that a little birdie up there? 
Um, there's not little birdie. Uh, that is a leaf. But down here I did notice um, roots coming out and it's on top of a stone. So can you? I can imagine it would be very difficult for a tree to start its life on top of a stone. But that is a solid foundation and anything is possible. A, a rose growing through the crack of the sidewalk. I always think of that as a good example. But this is around the same idea. You may feel like you're in a tough place. Stuck between a, uh, a rock and a hard place. I think they say. But... But you can grow these roots and you will touch the soil eventually and it will nourish your energy and you will be successful. And so these are saying, be the king, king of water. He is in control. He is creating something out of nothing. That's vibes I'm getting. And he's protected. Uh, he, 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 he's not talking about like a weapon uh physical weapon to hurt someone um, it's just that knowledge is power I'm getting and you have all the tools needed to get that work done and I'm seeing he's I thought this was a shell when I first looked at it but he's like talking to a little fish so maybe um, you are so in control of your emotions that you are teaching others how to be in control to and uh, I see these little pearls, and could be air bubbles, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting pearls. The silver lining, the shiny little objects. Okay, keep track of, keep track of the good things. Don't be so focused on the bad. Just let those fall away. And seven of water. Okay, I just um, was in a tarot reading group last night, and they talked about seven of cups. And this girl, um, she has all these options that she could be doing, but she's just sitting here not taking action. And what this is saying is pick one. You want to swim around with this fish? How about this one? You want to try go that avenue? You want to try this one? How about that one? Okay, pick something and go for it. Okay, they're always going to have lots of options in life. Okay, pick which one feels right, and then do the next one. And then just a little bit at a time. So I guess in October, and you see there's a little bit of an orange glow right here. Is that a lamp? Okay, that is the inside of the flower opening up, and she has her, her foot on it. So it's saying, you are good enough, you will be grounded, in your own self-belief okay if you're looking for someone else to tell you the right or wrong way you will never find the answer okay go within what were we just listening to I mean what were we just looking at that was telling us to go within it might have been this Archangel deck so again go within oh it was this too go within okay so that is the theme for October and they want me to just pull an animal card here I'm almost done with this reading now oh that's the wrong deck this one all right messages from your animal spirit guides never forget okay never forget about the animals okay every single animal in the whole world can come to your aid, including the mythological animals. It's not, it's not just, just cleansing a little bit of energy here. It is not just angels and spirit guides in the people form. This is the message I'm getting. The animals each have their own unique traits and abilities, and you may understand the metaphors from the animals much better. So if you've been seeing a lot of spiders, a lot of cats, uh, a lot of dragonflies, you know, whatever it is, look up the meaning because it might be helping you with some of your shadow work. You might get the answer that you've been looking for. You might get an idea of how to go about 
um, your your problem to fix your problem. You'll find a way. So let's see what they got for me. Sometimes the cards are just... I don't know what they want me to take out. Usually I just allow them to fall out. They will tell me. So if... And they're telling me cut the deck. So I guess I've um, done enough... Did you see that? Did you see that? It's crazy. All right. It's not crazy. It's awesome. It's, it's super cool. All right. Manatee. Okay. I live in Florida. I love manatees. Although I've never actually seen one in real life. They are so beautiful. They are uh, sea cows. That's what they call them. So except that the situation. Oh, except the situation as it is rather than trying to change it. Accept the situation as it is, rather than fighting to change it. Okay, fighting just gives off bad vibes. It just gives off negative vibes, okay? So go with the flow. Accept the situation as it is. Do I think manatees need to accept the situation of them becoming endangered? Not by any means, but this is not what that card is meaning. This card is saying accept your situation as it is. So manatees, uh, they got to be worried about those gators that are swimming around. Okay, but they're not. They accept the situation as it is. They float along. If you've ever been to the Suwannee River, you know you can get on a tube and float down the river and float with the alligators and maybe see some manatees. And especially when you go more southern Florida, you can see them uh, better. But that's what this is saying. Imagine you are on a raft of life and you are just floating and things are happening around you, but they are not affecting your raft. They're not affecting your uh, slow and steady progress. That brings back to that um, snail that we saw, okay? Um, the snail does not fall off the branch when the wind blows, okay? So that's what this is trying to say, like, just allow maybe just maybe okay all the fighting that you've been doing is keeping you stuck and if you just let it be maybe something would turn out in your favor that you didn't even expect maybe you will like something that you didn't even know that you liked so they're giving me pick another one i got you why did they do that to me all right so what they did was the elk and they want the road runner and the emu. Okay, so that's all they want. They don't want any other ones. All right, <clears throat> wait a second. They just showed me something, okay? So this card has been bent. I don't know if you can see that line, but what they're saying is bend, but do not break. Do not allow others to uh, get in the way. Bend, but do not break. Um, be uh, in control of your boundaries. Do not allow others to go past your boundaries. Bend, but do not break. Okay, so stand up for yourself. All right, so what I'm seeing here is fast motion. Emu and Roadrunner are quick. Keep your sense of humor and don't take things too seriously. That's great advice, okay? And if you know the Roadrunner from the cartoons then you can understand why it said, keep your sense of humor, all right? And that's all they wanted for that one. But this is the emu. This is a good time to go on a new adventure, okay? Maybe you have been really scared of doing this, hesitant, but don't be because this card is saying it's time for a new adventure, okay? And emus, they can, I'm pretty sure they can run really fast and... They're kind of mean, like, I'm pretty sure they'll peck at you and stuff, so um, they might not be able to fly, but they might not have this, but they do have that. They can run pretty quick, if I, if I recall correctly. Uh, the elk, stand tall and maintain your dignity, no matter what, and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve, so whatever boundaries you are setting 
the people who respect you will follow those boundaries and they will change because they love you and they want to be in your life. Okay, they don't want to lose you. They will respect your boundaries and you may even inspire them to set their own boundaries if they don't have them before. They may say, oh yeah, you know what? I, you know, she says you shouldn't be treated that way. You know, I don't think I should be treated that way either. You know, she doesn't want to be treated that way. I think I shouldn't be treated that way. And people will make changes because they see how strong you are. Okay, he's, this is like the king of the forest in, in Bambi or whatever. Um, it's not a deer, it's an elk, but you get it. Um, stand your ground. Okay, if you have been working so hard to set these boundaries and decide what you want and what you don't want, stick with it because you've done the work. Okay, this, this new project that you're doing, stick with it. It's going to manifest in good ways. And you may even see some quick progress because you see the running birds, okay? They don't get to fly. I don't know if roadrunners fly, but I'm guessing because it's called a roadrunner, they run. Um, your own two feet, okay? You got this. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you guys got some perspective for October 2021. I can't believe this year is almost over. I, I remember when I had 2020 vision. <laughs> um, but now it's almost a whole two years past that. So just crazy. Um, what goals? Have you guys thought about goals for 2022? My goal is to do readings more regularly for you guys online, but also to find a way that I can do them in person because I feel like that will help me get over my social anxiety, which is a huge hurdle that I am slowly moving past. So thank you guys so much for watching and love and light.